yo, check this out. Hey Motive Nation, Nick Parr here with you again and I'm here to introduce the Rip Core. This is a brand new ball that we are very excited about. Um, we brought back the Oblivion Core which was found in the Paranoia series and we wrapped it in a brand new cover, Infusion Reactive. Uh, we're really excited about this new cover technology. It is very clean through the front part of the lane and extremely angular down lane, especially on this Oblivion Core. It's going to be in the medium angular portion of our ball chart. So it's gonna be really good once the lane starts to break down and you see that friction spot open up down lane. Um, just get in and hook it. The ball's gonna be very sideways down lane. All right, so the first ripcord you're gonna see me throw is the basic tester layout. This is five and a half inches from my axis pin above the bridge, no hole. Um, this is gonna be my control ball, so once, once I see that friction down lane open up, I'm definitely gonna be into this ball because it is very clean through the front part of the lane and very angular down lane. All right, so the second ripcord you're going to see me throw, a little different than the first one, it's just pinned below the bridge, so it's about five inches from my axis. This is going to be a little bit smoother overall. Um, I just wanted to blend out that, that wet dry that you might see a little bit. So it's still going to be really clean through the front and just a little bit smoother off the friction down lane, but still pretty angular compared to some other stuff in our line. All right, and the last record you're gonna see me throw is the cleanest through the fronts. This is about six inches from my axis, um, just to get it to flare a little bit less in the front part of the lane, but still down lane. Um, so you're gonna see it be really clean through the fronts and very angular down lane because it is a little bit weaker overall, especially on the symmetrical core. Comparing the VSP to the ripcord, I definitely had to move a little bit straighter on the lane with the VSP. Um, it is cleaner through the front, so uh, I definitely had to move right and shut down my angles because ripcord is much stronger in the oil and stronger down lane. Yo, check this out. Comparing the Rogue Blade to the ripcord, I noticed a similar motion on the lane. However, the Rogue Blade was a little bit smoother overall. The ripcord was definitely faster down lane off the friction, so I moved a little bit further left and threw it further right. Yo, check this out.